and I let them sit for a while because sometimes you sometimes I've you know sometimes you curl them too <laughs> It's the holiday season and I'm excited because I'm gonna share a festive look with you. Even though I'm super minimal with makeup, I love makeup and today we're gonna get a little creative. L'Oreal sent me all these presents to create a very nice festive look, so I'm super excited to start. Um, usually I start with an oil to prepare my skin and to hydrate because of the dry season, because of the cold outside. I like to use an oil, okay, I usually just put a drop here, a drop here, a drop here, and then just blend it. When I blend, I work upwards, because it needs to stay up for as long as possible. It's nice to give your face a little massage and this oil needs some time to soak in. So what I usually do is I, um, when I have this oil on, I go in the closet and see what I want to wear for the day or I uh, listen to some music and dance a little or I dress the kids. But maybe because it's the holidays we dance. Don't want a lot for Christmas. So when the oil is soaked in your skin, um, you choose a foundation that fits with your skin tone, a true match. And mine is vanilla, because in the winter I'm very light skin, unfortunately. Um, and usually I put the foundation with my finger and I test a little bit here on the sides to see if this is the right color. And if it's not the right color, I blend it with an even lighter one or a little bit darker. So sometimes I mix, mix the two different shades or three shades to get the right color. But this one is actually perfect. I add a little more and I use a brush to kind of finish it and to blend it in the hairline. What, what I like about True Match is that it has a shade for every skin type. What I usually do is if I don't find the right um, skin tone um, in one bottle, I buy two and then I mix and match. Because also in the summertime I have a different shade than the winter time. So I always, I always have two to, to mix in the, in the fall and the spring when you kind of change skin colors. It's always nice to receive all these presents from L'Oreal and I can, I'm not a big like, I don't might, I might seem, you know, not like a big fan of makeup, but I am. I'm just a minimal makeup person. So I like makeup a lot, but I just like to make it look like it's nothing. I just mix two concealers, two different shades, and then I use my finger to blend it. And then I use a little bit under the eye because because of the color underneath my eyes is a little bit darker and uh, kind of blue. I guess you call them bags. <laughs> I don't know. The makeup I'm doing today is is for you know for a Christmas dinner um, that I'm gonna go to, and it's for the evening. This is not. I wouldn't say that this would be a daytime look. So it's an evening look, uh, very festive for the holiday season. That's coming up. I use an eyebrow pencil with a brush. So it has a brush on the end and a pencil at the other end. And I brush them first. I've never used powder for eyebrows. I go for a pencil with a dry texture, which allows me to make it look more natural 
and I use a shade that is very close to the roots of my hair so it's not too dark not too light and I like to make my eyebrows a little bit longer as you can see my eyebrow stops kind of here and then I like to extend them a little bit you see so it gets and make the top a little bit more pointy oh you know what I've learned uh, is a good trick is you you um, I draw them in and then I use a contour brush and a <laughs> contour and then I go like I contour my face with the bronze and then I had a great tip once of a makeup artist who would then go like this. I don't know why this is, but it blends the the heart, like it gets the hardness of the tone of your eyebrows, blends it into your skin tone. When I do that, they appear a little bit more natural. You see? Yeah, my biggest trick is to blend it out with my brush. And then I see there's little mistakes right here. Make sure you do the ears as well. But also make sure you clean them after. Then I curl my lashes because then my eyes appear bigger, more open. It's very important to use a good quality curler because then you don't break your lashes. And I hold them usually for between 10 and 20 seconds. And then I go a little bit towards the, t the tip. And I let them sit for a while. Because sometimes, you, sometimes I've, you know, sometimes you curl them too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh my God, okay. So here we go again, the camera couldn't handle. I think it would be so much fun to use these because they have glitter, they have that shine. And I start with a lighter color first. Well, I, I use a little, I use a light color here first, uh, underneath the eyebrows so they appear sharper. And now I'm gonna do the eyeshadow. making sure that um, when you apply the eyeshadow sometimes it goes down the eye a little bit so I'm cleaning the edges so the shape of my eye stays in the right direction now I want to blend the eyeshadow a little bit I'm all about blending Now I'm going to use a, a, a black pencil to um, create a tiny more exaggeration on the top of my eye. For this effect, I would use a pencil that is uh, greasy so you can smudge. Do you love to smudge? I love to smudge. I love to smudge and blend. Oh my god, it's so difficult. I don't go in the center of my eye, but I'm starting kind of from the middle. And what I do, I go on the inside of the eye as well. And then you get a brush to smudge and to create a lengthening effect by extending it a little bit. 
There you go. Do the same thing on this side. And I like to use the brush that's a little bit pointy, so this is a good smudge brush. And I'm doing the same thing as the other side. I'm extending it a tiny bit, just following the shape of my eye. And then I'm gonna clean up the edges with concealer after to make this appear more, more pointy. So it continues the shape of my eye. And I also smudge a little bit here. So you blend the corners of the eye. So I'm done with the eyes. I chose to go for two different shades of eyeshadow. And for me, this is festive enough. I'm using the Million Lashes Mascara um, that I apply um, as much as possible towards the root. And then I'll, I turn it and move up at the same time. Look, the power of mascara. Mascara, no mascara. I, I, I always feel like it's incredible, the, the difference between mascara and no mascara. The mascara is definitely one of my favorite L'Oreal products. I'm debating if I should do uh, a lip as well because I've done, I've done an eye and sometimes do a lip as well can be a lot, but I mean, it's the holiday season. And I think it depends as well, if you go for dinner to do a lip, it depends on the person because I'm not good eating and having lipstick on. My lipstick will end up everywhere, so. But you know, if it's, if it's for New Year's, I think I should do red lip. I like red lipstick to look like I've been wearing it all day, so it's more like a stain. What I do to make sure it's not going to end up on my teeth is I put my finger. This would have ended up on my teeth. There's one more thing I'd like to do is that I like to, to make the eyes look perfect. I take a concealer. and my concealer brush and then I go like this to get the edges right to make the eyes look pointy the shape wow oh it kind of get good It's important to do this gently and not use too much because then you end up with a big discoloration. Okay, and final touch. I think this is always very nice for the chest area. I'm like a kid, look. Oh my God, I don't like the way my lips look. I'm gonna take them off. Just because you've done something, it doesn't mean like that you have to keep it that way. No one knew that I was choosing red lips and, not, and didn't do it. But maybe I don't take them com off completely. This is just not my day today for red lips. This is better, I think. It's like I've been sipping red wine all night. Okay, final touch. It's the Face and Body Luminizer. It's really nice to put it on the collarbones and your shoulders. And as a final touch, you can rub your hands and then put a little here. And that's it. I am ready. And for the final result, stay there because I'm gonna put on my festive costume and get ready for tonight. I put my festive suit on and I am ready for the holidays. I hope I inspired you a little bit with this episode because you're all worth it. I'll see you next time. Thumbs up and subscribe.
Happy holidays!